welcome and or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nate Penda, and if you are tuned in today, I'm gonna show y'all what I bought, what I purchased, what I threw in a bag from Sephora. Now I'm embarrassed to say, but half this order I purchased on April 26th. Yes, it has been in the box since then. Okay, and the second half of the items I purchased um, August 1st. So. To be quite honest, a lot of the makeup releases that have been coming out haven't been exciting me. So I just went and I browsed on Sephora. I was like, you know what? You haven't shopped for makeup for a while. You have a whole channel dedicated to beauty. You need to get some new products. You need to try some of the new things out. Before I get into it, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 6 p.m. The schedule is to be determined. It can change, but as of right now, I will be posting three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 o'clock, and if I don't post, it's because I like y'all, okay? Um, so yeah, give this video a big thumbs up, and let's get into the purchases. Y'all ever watch that movie Hocus Pocus, where it's like they have the bag, and then they just pull out things as they go. I feel like I'm the lady of Hocus Pocus and I'm pulling things out. So there are a few things in here. I have tried to film this video like twice. So there are some things that I took off the box already that have been swatched. I think I even used one of the things, but ultimately um, I haven't done like a full face or really in-depth try some of these products and I haven't shown them to you guys yet. Um, so the first thing that I picked up was something that a lot of people were asking me about. Also, I have a broken nail. We're going to ignore her. We still in quarantine. It's still hot out here. Um, so yeah, the two foundation sticks that I picked up or the match sticks that I picked up are in the shades Ebony and Caviar. And I will put the pricing of the items on the screen just because I honestly don't know off the top of my head. Um, and then this is what they look like when it comes to just the shades. Now the lighter one is Ebony and then the darker one is Caviar. The reason why I got these is because one of the things that I struggle with in the summer is finding a product that I can contour with. I'm fine with contouring with my normal products in the winter because I'm a little bit lighter in the winter. But once it comes to the summertime, if I go outside, when I go on walks, etc., etc., I do get darker and I tend to find that the products I use to contour then blend in with my skin. So I wanted to get products that could actually contour me and be deep, deep, deep dark. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these two so that you guys can see. So again, the darker shade is Caviar, and then the redder shade, the lighter shade is Ebony. It's also more warm or more red. Now, Caviar, I'm in love with. I feel like this is a really, really good contour shade. As far as Ebony, I feel like it's more of like a bronzer shade, something I would apply on my perimeters just to bring back some warmth into my face if I ever were to lose it from like contouring too much. Um, but overall, I do really, really like these shades, so I'm excited to try these out. Next, I also purchased the cream bronzers in the regular cream pot. So the shades that I got here were Toffee Teas and Chocolate. So the reason why I got these originally at first, especially in April, I think they had, they had just come out or like come out a few weeks before I purchased them because I wanted to do a comparison to the Fenty Cream Bronzers versus the Matchsticks. Clearly that didn't happen. And we are in September. So, um, I might still just do that video just for myself, just to do it for you guys. Um, so let me know if you're still interested. Not sure if you are, but let me know in the comment section. But this is what they look like. So this is chocolate, and then this is toffee teas. If I'm being honest, chocolate to me, let me swatch it and see, but chocolate to me, it's too light and it might also be because it is summertime so I'm looking at this from like where my complexion is now versus where I was in April or even in March um, but this looks like it would be even too light to be a foundation for me so I'm just gonna put it oh no y'all it blended in so I will do it again I literally put a lot on my arm and it literally blends right into my complexion. Now my arm is actually lighter than my face so I feel like this isn't necessarily something that I could use on my face right now but probably in the winter I could actually use this as an all over foundation if I wanted to or just to like spot conceal certain areas in order to kind of make my complexion one. So this is cool, she cute. Now Toffee Tease is the one that's a bit darker. Um, and I would hope to be able to use this as an actual bronzer. Um, so we'll see. I'll put it right next to Caviar. 
so it is this one right here is toffee tees so it's definitely definitely a good bronzer for me if you guys can see caviar is super deep super dark super cool and then we have ebony the matchsticks which is kind of more red um doesn't have as much depth and then we get to toffee tees which to me is almost like it has the darkness and the deepness almost of caviar not as dark but then it also has those warm undertones that ebony has and it has a little bit of purple in it as well so i feel like this would actually be perfect to bronze with so if you are someone that is my complexion and you're thinking of a cream bronzer that you could buy one that could work i definitely do think that toffee tees has the perfect shade um that will work for you so i'm really happy about that purchase chocolate is all right but toffee tees is that girl for what I would need or for what I would want to teach with that girl. Now this one I'm excited about and I'm so mad because I feel like I could have used this this summer. I could have used this this summer if I did not leave her in this box. So we just gonna have to be glowing and highlighted and melanin queening all winter and all fall long. But I did purchase something I'm super excited about and that is the Cognac Candy Highlighter. Let's just take a moment of silence for the shade, like, y'all. Um, if you guys don't know, I did do a video actually uh, reviewing the Diamond Milk version of this. So when it came out in this silver, it's shade, and I didn't really like it. Um, I'm more of a golden girl. I'm not really the silver tone highlighter girl. I'm more of a golden girl, so this is right up my alley. Now, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I have to be honest. I haven't used this on myself, but I did swatch it. And one thing that I noted is that she is super, super, super sheer. Like when I say super sheer, the way it looks in the packaging is not necessarily as pigmented as it's going to look on your actual hand. But I don't mind that because this is something that I'm thinking of. Let's say, for example, I have an off the shoulder top. Y'all know I love me some off the shoulder top. Um, I would be able to just take this, kind of rub it, and then just apply it all over my body. And then I'll show you guys what this effect looks like. So I don't know if it's showing through the camera, but it's like super golden, super dewy like. So this is perfect for just like applying on your body, potentially applying on your face if you want to. Um, so I really, really do like this. It would have been a perfect summer addition, but again, I didn't really want to use anything that was in this box because I wanted to film an unboxing for you guys. And I didn't realize that I purchased these in April. Like time really flies. Um, Okay, so something that I purchased a lot of to the point where I might as well just do a video for you guys is, can y'all guess in the comment section? And again, you would have thought that this was a fancy haul. I mean, I guess technically it is because almost everything I have in here is from fancy. Literally. I am missing something though. I purchased one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven shades, seven of the cream blushes. And I can't believe I purchased all these shades and I never did like a full review video. But you know what, we can't change things so it is what it is. Why do I have two of the same shades? Oh, giveaway. Hmm, what do I want y'all to do to win this? Leave a comment down below, write your Instagram name, and then I want you to tell me what was your highlight. Actually, tell me one goal you have for September. So to enter into win this giveaway, leave a comment down below letting me know a goal you have for September and then write your Instagram name. Nothing else, whoever gets it, gets it, okay? Um, and this giveaway will be closed a week from today. So whenever this goes up a week from now, I will announce a winner. I'll pin it in the comment section down below and then I will contact the winner from there. All right, so I just went ahead and I opened up all seven of them, all six of them. Um, so this one is in the shade. Y'all, opening up packages with tips zero out of zero do not recommend i'm about to struggle oh my gosh so this one is rose latte now i'm gonna be very honest with y'all my very first opinion when i first even got the boxes and i saw the packaging i was just like why are they so small like why do why do these look like mini blushes like i just didn't understand it but i guess since it's a cream honestly i still don't understand it i can't even give you an explanation because i don't understand why the cream blushes are so small but the cream bronzers are much bigger <sighs> these stupid tips stupid tips i just dug a hole in this but this one is fuego flush and it looks like this 
That's what I get for talking crap. The spirit. Also, I'm not going to be swatching them on camera here because I think I'm going to do a full video using the Fenty Cream products. I might use them as like foundation, bronzer, blush, lip, maybe do like a full face using the cream products from Fenty. Um, so I'm not going to swatch them now just because I'm not sure if I'm going to do that video, but just in case, I want it to be my first, you know, real impressions. So this one is Summertime Wine. She is cute. I love this shade. This one is Drama Class. And it looks like this. Then we have Daiquiri Dip. This is the one that I'm also doing in the giveaway, which is so beautiful. I feel like this would be perfect for anyone with deeper skin as well, um, just because this has to show up. Like, um, So this one is Strawberry Dip, and it looks like this. So my first impressions of these, number one, why are they so small? That's like the first thing that honestly comes to my head. Um, but number two, they, they look promising. I purposefully bought the shades that I felt would look the best on someone of my complexion. Um, so I'm super excited to see how they work and to see how they wear. I feel like there's so many videos of it out now that doing one just dedicated to the blush might not necessarily work but a full face using their cream products may um so let me know in the comment section down below as well if you are interested in that i know that there are a lot of people who aren't into the makeup makeup look so let me know i kind of want to gauge your interest as well i'm gonna go back into my box of love let me do a non-fancy purchase right quick so that y'all don't think all i did was purchase fancy so i will be new this got me excited if you know what my favorite foundation is, you know that I had to get this. So my favorite foundation is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. The one that they did in collaboration with Auntie Jackie, okay? Truffle is my shade. She is bae. So I did... <gasps> no! You know what? My new Sephora order isn't in here. Because this is not her. I'm going to have to go pick that up. Okay. So this is the Multi Sculpting Use Concealer, the Multi Use Sculpting Concealer. So I purchased this as a re-up. This isn't the new foundation. I got real, real excited, but we're gonna do that intro to the foundation again. Um, but y'all know I love the Too Faced Born This Way foundation anyway, so I have tried the concealer before. I did finish out the concealer, so I just went and I bought a re-up um, in the shade Coco, and I will show you what the shade looks like, just for reference. It is super beautiful. It's warm, but it still has some golden undertones. So I love to use it to highlight underneath my eyes. So this was more so like a tried it, loved it, bought it again. Then I purchased the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Um, but I bought it in a mini. So for the mini, I bought the shade Cacao. Um, so the reason why I bought this in the mini is because I do have the NARS. Oh, I love this. Yup, this is perfect. Cacao is what I've been needing. Cacao is this shade right here. Um, so I will show you guys really quickly. In the NARS Cream Radiant Concealer, I do have um, two different ones. So when I first got into makeup, and this is why I always tell you guys, like when it comes to makeup, try your best not to have to rely on customer service reps at Sephora because honestly, and it's sad to say, but when it comes to deeper skin women, they don't always have the best recommendations, especially if they themselves are not darker skin or if they're not black women. Um, of course, that's not to say that you will never be able to find a representative of a different cultural background that can't help you. But in my personal experience, anytime that I'm going to the store, ask for a recommendation, it has always been off. Um, so I like to mix and match. I like to get samples. I like to try different things. So when it came to the Creamy Radiant Concealer, this was something that I saw Jackie raving about almost since like 2015, 2014, um, if I'm not mistaken. And I remember going to the Sephora or the Ulta when I was in college and I was like, Jackie said this concealer is good. So I need it. I got the shade Amand. If I'm not mistaken, that is also the shade Jackie uses. Look at me. Think of Jackie. I'm darker. Okay, so it just, it wasn't gonna work. So I remember when I first tried that concealer, I'm like, the rep told me this would be my perfect shade. Why does this concealer make me look gray? Then I was like, yo, like, what is happening? Then as I got better with makeup, I realized the concealer is good, it's just that the shade is off. So I purchased the shade Hazelnut because I believe it was like a shade down from Amon's, which another Sephora rep told me, you know, just go one shade darker. 
So this is what Amon looks like. Now, clearly the nail today knows it's way, 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 way too light. Um, way too light. But I still do like the formula. So I figured I would try to see if cacao would be a perfect match for me before purchasing it in a bigger size. And I really, really do like the shade. It matches almost perfectly, um, if not it's a bit deeper and a bit peachier than the Too Faced one. So I'm super excited about this purchase. Um, so yeah, that's why I got the mini. It's because I wanted to try just to see because I've tried so many shades of this NARS concealer and it just doesn't always work out for me. So I was just like, I'm not going to spend the big girl coin if it's not going to work. Um, especially in April because that was when everything was really shut down. So the last few things that I have, I lied, I have two more things after this. We're going to go back into Fenty and then we're going to end off without Fenty. Um, so I purchased the Fenty Beauty liners and I bought a few different shades. Now, if you know me, you know I am good for a dark black liner in my waterline. And that's it, period. I go about my business. I put the black and I go. But I want to try a little different, you know? I want to be a little spicy. So I purchased four different shades. Basically, a blue, a green, a purple, and then... I don't know what this is, but I think it's brown. Don't ask me why I bought brown, but I bought brown. Um, probably for like more natural, everyday looks. Um, so I will just take them out of their packaging really quickly and then just show you guys what it looks like out the packaging and then do a few swatches of it. After this video, I definitely have to do a full face of Fenty. So whether I do a full face with cream or just a full face in general, clearly I'm like a Fenty Beauty ambassador. I'll also link some videos that I have done using Fenty products throughout the video just so that, you know, if there's anything you want to reference in particular, you can go ahead and look at it. Okay, so this is the green. Ooh, this is like a wasabi green. I think I was mostly hoping for like a dark green, but also I'm kind of glad that it's this shade um, because it'll probably actually show up on my skin tone underneath my eyes, whereas a dark green would have probably blended in um, and looks black. Okay, so one thing I'm clearly learning, when you twist it up, it doesn't go back down, so just twist up exactly what you need. Yeah, this blue is going to look black on me. So this is the blue next to the green. It's definitely going to look black in my waterline. I already feel it. This is like the brown slash burnt red looks like. Oh, this is pretty. This looks like a burgundy-ish. Love that, but it will also probably look black on my waterline. And then the purple will most likely also look. Oh no, it won't. Maybe the purple is at the end. So the purple and the blue look pretty similar to me. Um, and I feel like they're gonna look similar on my under eye area. So those I could have gotten in different shades, but I am really excited about the green. I really do like this purple. The purple is actually really pretty. Um, one thing I will say is that when it comes to water liners or waters in the eyeliners in the waterline for me, I have super sensitive eyes. So I have tried like beautiful like whites or just like you know metallic shades to put in my waterline and when I tell y'all every time I do that I wake up my eyes are pink they have things that should not be coming out of it coming out of it so do this at your own risk I will of course try one and then let y'all know um but I'm very very careful when it comes to waterline eyeliners I really wish I could be more crazy and creative with it but my always, my eyes always have a negative reaction and then I have two more products that I purchased I'm gonna go grab them. Give me a second. So you guys, I know I'm not crazy. I know that I purchased and it was delivered a order, um, but I cannot find it right now. And if I'm being honest, I have way too much makeup that I haven't unboxed yet. Like there's some that are in their boxes that I need to completely take out. And I have too much makeup that I've like put to the side for other videos. So this just told me I need to get it together and I need to organize. Like, I'm out of breath. I checked everywhere in this house, and I cannot find it. Um, but I know that it's here somewhere. I just need to find it. So I'm just going to show y'all. I purchased the Too Faced. I'll put a screen recording, actually. Um, so I purchased the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation in the shade Truffle. The reason why I was super excited to actually try it is because, one... 
Y'all know what? I kind of got down a little bit, but let me get back excited because I'm talking about my favorite foundation. So, you guys know that I love the Too Faced Born This Way foundation that Jackie did in collaboration with Too Faced with the shade extensions, and I am in the shade Truffle. Um, so, I wanted to try Truffle in their new matte foundation just to see what it looked like. I feel like everyone was going back to... Um, more skin like dewy your skin but better foundation but if I'm gonna be honest if we're gonna be wearing masks for the next god knows how long um, I might want something a little bit more matte at least even on the areas in which the mask will go on um, so I am looking more into just like more matte foundations um, and then I purchased the Tatcha mini liquid silk canvas primer I bought it in the liquid form um, if you guys don't know, the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer in the, it's actually in my makeup bag, um, in the circle form, that is one of my favorite, if not my favorite primer. So I just wanted to try the liquid one just because I feel like it will be easier to use, probably cleaner, more effective um, as far as just like bacteria not harboring on it. So I'm excited to see if it works the exact same. Um, and then it came with a free Tarte Lip Jelly Mask that I didn't purchase. Um... So yeah, I'm actually going to also check my other order to make sure that I showed you guys everything. Clearly, I didn't. So in my other order that originally came, I also bought a re-up of the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 470. You guys, if you don't know, I love, the, like, when I say I love, I stand the Fenty Concealer. So I ran out of 470 twice. So this is my third time picking up a 470. Um, and then let me just make sure everything else in here was shared. It was. Okay. So... All in all, for all of the products that I just showed you, as well as the two that I just mentioned, the cost was about $400, so it's pretty much like a $400 Sephora haul, and the thing with Sephora is that you can spend a lot of money and not get that much products, because a lot of the brands that are sold in Sephora are more high-end, more luxe, but fear not, fret not, I do have a video where I do an Ulta haul, where I got way more products, um to try out for you guys so if you are someone that you know you're willing to splurge check out some of the items that I purchased here I will be linking everything down below um, but if you are someone that's trying to be more cost effective you're not trying to spend too much money don't worry I do have an also haul coming up as well that you can reference and kind of see like what products I purchased from there um, make sure if you didn't already you leave a comment down below letting me you know your goal for September as well as your IG handle in order to win you know what um, I love you guys so much. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you did. I love you guys so much, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.